and be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the DeWalt Atomic and the DeWalt XR. So there is a huge dispute of DeWalt fans saying the Atomic line completely sucks compared to the XR. Now, just keep in mind the Atomic line is a professional grade tool, but it is designed for the DIYers. It is priced for the DIYers and the homeowners so the homeowners could actually have DeWalt tools without spending an arm and a leg for a kit. Now this kit, when I originally got it, was $230. This comes with a, a hard case, the drill, two two amp hour batteries, and a charger, a regular charger, I might add. And so, but you can get this kit that comes with two 1.5 amp hour batteries, the, the drill, a uh, soft case, and a charger for 150. So that's a huge savings compared to what you normally would spend for an XR line. So the pricing is way better for the homeowner slash DIYer. All right, so I personally love the Atomic line. I love its lightweight, it's compact, it's still powerful, but in this episode, we are gonna see what the difference in power is between these two. So the Atomic and the XR make hammer drills. Uh, I have them up on the wall. So the XR has like the power detect. The XR has the 887, I think it is, which is right here. Oh, sorry, the, the 996, which as you can see, just compared to the drill driver, it is significantly bigger. All right, so when it comes to professionalism, the XR is better. And the XR also has a mid-range uh, hammer drill, which the, we're gonna do this one against the Atomic in a future video, so please su subscribe and like this video to be notified for when that video comes. I personally, I love this drill. This drill, it, it's extremely compact, as you can see. The size difference is a lot smaller. Let's look at the specs of these and see what the difference is when it comes to what it says on the tool. All right, so for the, for the XR, this is model number DCD791. Uh, it is a 15 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill, two speed settings. And so the, so on speed one, it is zero to 550 RPMs. On speed two, it is zero to 2000 RPMs. I do not know what the torque is. I'll put the torque in right now. Now this, uh, this, Sorry, oh, I gotta put that back on. All right, so this does have the same feature as the bigger model does. So this uh, has a bright LED light on the bottom that'll last up to 20 minutes, or you could have it at half dim and it'll last just a few seconds, or you could have it at the lowest, lowest dim. Like I said, two speed settings, metal uh, housing, metal chuck with a metal housing. And so, yeah, it's good. Of course, you could use any Dewalt batteries with it, including the FlexVolt which we are gonna do the uh, two amp hour test and a six amp hour flex full test. And so, yeah, like I said, this is model number DCD791. Russia's motor, of course, 20 volt system. All right, so for the Atomic, which I love this drill, this is model number DCD708. It is, oh, sorry, both of these are half inch chucks, half inch metal chuck with a plastic housing. And so it's two speed settings. This is a, the, same, the same 15 point clutch plus one. This goes to zero to 450 RPMs on speed one and zero to 1650 uh, on speed two. So that is actually a significant difference compared to the XR. So it's, just, it's 100 RPMs less on speed one and uh, 350 RPMs less on speed two. So, and the feature, just a simple LED light on the bottom, uh, no adjustments on that. And so, yeah, uh, it's a very compact, it's a very compact drill. I love it. It's very lightweight. When it comes to which one of these would I bring up on a ladder with me? The Atomic. All right, so let's see what these can do. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. We're going to see what this can do with a one and a half inch spade. And we're also going to see what this can do with the three quarter inch uh, drill. And while we're at it, uh, we might as well do with the, no, we'll, use, we'll save the speed bore for the six by six. Remember, click it one more back to lock it in place. Now it's locked. All right, so speed two. 
Ah, uh, batteries is full. Make sure that's locked. Right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. Ooh, it's on drill. It, it is on drill. All right, it is having trouble on speed two. Let's go to speed one. I gotta watch that kickback. It's it's through. It's it's stuck on the bottom. Alrighty, so that is the atomic. Let's see what the XR can. Uh, let's see what the XR can do with the two amp hour battery. One more back to lock it in place. It's on drill speed two. Battery is full. Right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. Yep, you're having issues too. I knew you would. Yep. All right, speed. Uh, speed one. Watch out for that kickback. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same test with a six amp hour. All right, so speed two, it's on drill. Battery is full, six amp hour flex full. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, you did not. Nope. All right, so no, no reason to continue that. Let's see if the XR could do that on speed two with a six amp hour flex fold. All right, we're gonna continue this. I let's see if it stops. If it, if it goes through, then obviously the XR beat the atomic over this test. All right, so continue. Nope. Nope. Both of them failed. Both of them failed to do that. No reason to go through because we both know that they can do it on speed one. Three quarter inch drill. Sorry, drill. Sorry, drill bit. It's on drill speed two. We're gonna do uh, three holes. I'm gonna time them individually, but I'm gonna add them together as soon as I start the next hole. All right, so ready, go. It's through. That's one. Stopping about the, it's through. Stopping about the same time. That's two. All right, so ready. Oh, we'll do it right here. Ready, go. Yep, it's through. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's right here. It's through. All right, so let's see what the XR could do. Speed two, battery is full. It's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Oh, much easier, much easier. Do two. Let's see if this can do two in a row without stopping. Yes, it can. All right, so the XR is proving to be more superior than the Atomic is, which remember, we we sort of already know that, but this is just to show you that the X uh, that the Atomic is not a piece of crap tool. It does have its purpose, but 
Let's continue the test. I love this thing. This thing's awesome. I love my draw horse. Thanks to my good friend Matt, he gave that to me. Alrighty, so we have six inch uh, power lags right here. We are going with the five star, how many stars? With the six star bit. We are gonna see on how well these do. We will use the atomic first. All right, so right here is good. No, we'll do it right here. All right, so battery is full, by the way. Ready, go. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. Let's try again. All right, that's as far as that got. We will measure that in when it comes to checking out what this can do. All right, we're going to do this one right here. All right, so battery is full, by the way. Speed two. It's on drill. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Now I'm wondering, yep, there is nothing. There is nothing underneath it blocking the other one. The other, uh, the atomic, the atomic just failed to drive that in. Let's have the XR finish the atomic's job. Yep. Easily. All right, so yes, yeah, so far, like I love the atomic line. It is, it has its purpose, but so far the XR is actually majorly winning. Let's see if the atomic could take that out. It should. It's so already go. Took the third attempt to do it, but it was it was able to do it. Let's see what the XR can do. All right, so ready. Go. Oop. Yep, that was user error. That, that is my bad. These are Hilti bits, by the way, so they will last a while. All right, so let's see what these can do with a three quarter inch, or I think I think it's a three quarter inch, or it might be a one inch, uh, a speed bore. Let's see what this can do. We are gonna do do it on speed two. Right here should be good. All right, so we're gonna see how deep this can go. All right, so ready, go. Oop, it cannot on speed two. Let's go to speed one. We can do it. Time. It did it. It did it. All right, so let's do the XR. Let's see how well the XR performs. Right here should be good. We're gonna try on speed two. Battery is full. It's on drill. All right, so ready, go. All right, so the XR failed as well. Let's go to speed one and continue. Time. I feel it did that a lot better than the XR did. A lot easier and faster. Take it out. Yep, able to take it out flawlessly without stopping the motor. And then the, for, uh, for the next test, we are gonna do two timber locks each. Let's see how well these can do putting in some eight inch timber locks. We'll, I will be using tech, uh, I will be using Hilti 516s bits on this. All right, switch to speed two. The battery is full on the atomic still. We are on drill. We are going to go right here. I'm going to try to st stay on the same ring. To time them individually, put the, uh, but put them in one timer. All right, so ready, go. You can do it. Oh, I stopped too soon. There we go. Right, let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby.
Not too shabby at all. All right, so let's do the next two for the XR. The battery is still full. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Wow, All right, I did that a lot, a lot faster. You can just tell the motor struggled a lot less. Ready, go. Time. Perfect. All right, so we are going to take them both out at once and just have them on one timer. All right, so ready? Go. Hup, hup, hup. There we go. Okay, the Atomic had a, a one attempt fail. So it took two pulls of the trigger to take out the second one. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Yeah, you can tell what a difference in the in the motor. All right, so ready, go. Time. What a difference in the motor. All right, so let's see if these are able to drive in a four inch lag. Now, because uh, because of the torque and in the position I'm in, I am actually going to use a pre-drilled hole for this because I don't want to break my wrist. There we go. We are still using the Husky half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter with Tech Life impact rated sockets. All right, so let's see if this can do it without injury. Now, I am going to keep safety first. If I feel like I can't do this, I'm just going to scratch this test. All right, so ready? Go. Speed two, one more pull. Let's go to speed one. You can do it. You can do it. Almost there. It did it. It did it. I am not in danger. Just to let you guys know, everything is safe. All right, so let's do the XR. All right, so speed two, battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. All right, speed, do one more pull. Speed two failed for the XR. Let's go to speed one. Continue. There you go, time. Time, time, time. Oh, let's take it out really quick. Let's see if we can take it out on speed two. Speed two. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. Continue. Oh, failed. Yep, that was not able to, the atomic failed on taking that out. Let's go to the XR. Speed two. Nope. Speed one. Did one. All right. Based on based on these test results, the XR line is far superior than the atomic line all right but that does not mean that the atomic line is useless or bad all right so they they designed the atomic line for like i said the homeowner the diyer which it's powerful enough to do most of what you got to do you know and you get to use the the dewalt uh 20 volt batteries so like i personally love the atomic line it's compact it's lightweight the xr has the girth and power but at the same time it's also a lot heavier there are a lot more options and features when it comes to the XR line, along with uh, a lot of other different tools. You know, the Atomic line only has like, I think five or six tools. So when it comes to you deciding which tool you think you should get because of the sales that are going on right now, I hope, this, uh, I hope this video helped you out with that. If you found this information useful, please hit the like button. Both of these drills are awesome. They're both worth the money. 
But if you just want to spend a little bit less and go for the atomic, at least you know what the uh, what the limits are of what it can do. So that's pretty much it. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.